Hello there, and today we're going to show you how to download and install IOBit Driver Booster 11 for free to help optimize the drivers on your PC and take a job away from you. So, if you type in IOBit Driver Booster into Google, the top website is what you want, iobit.com slash driver booster, and we'll click through to that. Once you get through to this page, there are two buttons, so it's a little bit confusing, free download or free trial. The one you want is free download. Supports all Windows versions from XP up to 11. Is anyone still using XP? Uh, once you click on the free download button, it'll ask you to save the file, which we'll do. It's a very small install file, only 29 megabytes. And then when you double click on it, as soon as user access control pops up, press yes, and then it will start the IOBit driver booster installer. So on this first screen, it's really important that you come down to the bottom at first and uncheck these two boxes so you don't get any additional software installed with this. And then you want to press on the custom install button. Install will use default settings, which can also include additional software. So you do want to use custom install. The default um, location is fine for it to install that program files IOBit driver booster. You get options for creating a desktop icon, pinning it to the bar, and associating files for offline driver update. You want to leave all three of those checked. This one will make sure at the bottom that any driver booster files are actually opened in the driver booster application itself. And then we want to click install. It'll pop up asking if you want iTop Easy Desktop, which is 100% free, but we're going to say no thanks because we don't want extra software on there and it will slow down your computer. Once you click on next, then it will install and it basically maintains a database of drivers and it checks whether you've got the latest drivers on your computer, downloads them for you and installs them for you. So it's well worth it. It takes away a maintenance task that is probably neglected a lot, but can cause you problems with things like games not working properly or the system not performing correctly if you've not got up to date drivers for your hardware. Um, it's then going to offer you to enter your email address to subscribe. You don't need to do this to use the software. So if we press no thanks, okay, and then it'll show that it's been successfully installed. You do want to uncheck the learn more online so it doesn't open up another page, but then you can click scan now. And what it will do is it will open up driver booster 11 and it will allow you to start scanning your system. And once you've scanned your system, it will develop a report for you. So you've got update, boost to try and increase the speed, some extra tools, and the action center and that's it you've got driver booster 11 free installed on your computer hope that helped don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials and we shall see you again shortly take care bye